Hey, I'm John from Hilltop Camper and RV, and if you're the kind of person that has an SUV and said, I'm so frustrated, I can't find anything to tow around that's gonna have, everything I have is so small that, well, this is, this is perfect. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,500 pounds, so a lot of you with SUVs can carry it. Um, 3,500 pounds would be with the vehicle itself and everything in it. So this is a, a 16 RB from Rove Light. They're adventure affordable uh, is what they go by, and it, it really is. I mean, you've got the, uh, the aluminum frame here on the outside. You've got a one-piece cap, and it's, uh, the hydro light walls as well. So pretty cool on the outside. For a unit this size, to have an awning is a really special thing, and this is a power awning as well. And then when the rain comes down, it comes down here and over to the side and slips down uh, with this little droplet deal that uh, doesn't have you getting all wet right here as you try to walk into your camper. You've also got a light here, and uh, for those of you who like solar, this has a side solar option as well. So if you want to buy a side solar panel, you can hook it up to this. Oftentimes even better than having the solar right on top. You're under trees, it's not a sunny day, you know, you got issues there. Here you can actually position a side solar panel to where the sun is. So come check this out and come see why this is actually my very favorite of all of the Rove lights that we have. Why do I like it so much compared to some of the other Rove lights? Well, you'll see the wet bath and some others, and those can be effective, but this actually has the full bathroom. So you've got a separate toilet and shower. Also got a little bit of a bedroom here. You've got uh, a full bed that is permanent. Other Rove light models, uh, you have to kind of put your bed up, take your bed down each and every day. Not the case with this one. And you've got a dinette, too, that offers you a little bit of extra bedroom space, too. If you've got one guest staying with you, you can actually turn that dinette space into a bed as well. And nice thing about that table, too, you can actually just fold it up, take it outside if you want. In the kitchen, really good cooktop space, right? Uh, you've got a couple of burners there. You know, it's interesting because people will say, well, you know, it doesn't have three burners, doesn't have four burners. Um, when's the last time you used four burners at your house at the same time? doesn't happen too often, so oftentimes two burners plenty there on the LP tank. Got a nice stainless steel sink and like I said lots of counter space there for a unit of this size. Also like the storage up top, storage up uh, down the bottom and there's good storage uh, right next to the dinette as well in this unit. A couple other nice touches too. If you want to put a TV in here you can use this space for TV. You got an outlet here. You've got a spot for your cell phones. You got uh, electric outlets here. I mean you've got the AC. You've got the uh, the heater as well. It's really a really cool camper for somebody that maybe can't tow a whole lot. And you got that gross vehicle weight rating of 3,500 pounds. Maybe you've been doing the, the, the tent thing, uh, the pop-ups for a while, uh, and you're tired of putting things up and down. Mm, this is a hard-sided. This has got a permanent bed. This has got a full bathroom for you. So it's a really, really nice step up and an affordable price point. I'm John. Come see us at Hilltop Camper and RV for this 16RB from Rovelight.